Hello students. Welcome back to our channel. Code Karo Yaro. So students, today we are going to learn about 5G wireless technology. Everything you need to know about 5G. Here is where you find 5G technology explained, how 5G works, why 5G is important and how it's changing the way the world connects and communicates. What is 5G? 5G is the fifth generation mobile network. It is a new global wireless standard after 1G, 2G, 3G, and 4G networks. 5G enables a new kind of network that is designed to connect virtually everyone and everything together including machines, objects, and devices. 5G wireless technology is meant to deliver higher multi-GBPs peak data speeds, ultra-low latency, more reliability, massive network capacity, increased availability, and a more uniform user experience to more users. Higher performance and improved efficiency empower new user experiences and connects new industries. How does 5G wireless technology work? There are basically two main components in the 5G wireless technology systems that is the radio access network and the core network. Let's see these in detail. First component is 1. Radio Access Network The radio access network mainly includes 5G small cells and macro cells that form the crux of 5G wireless technology as well as the systems that connect the mobile devices to the core network. The 5G small cells are located in big clusters because the millimeter wave spectrum that 5G uses for insanely high speeds can only travel over short distances. These small cells complement the macro cells that are used to provide more wide area coverage. Second component is Core Network. The Core Network manages all the data and internet connections for the 5G wireless technology. And a big advantage of the 5G core network is that it can integrate with the internet much more efficiently and it also provides additional services like cloud-based services, distributed servers that improve response times, etc. Driving for higher yields 5G is comprised of several technology projects in both communications and data center architecture, all of which must collectively yield benefits for telcos as well as customers, for any of them to be individually considered successful. The majority of these efforts are in one of three categories. First category is Spectral Efficiency Making more optimal use of multiple frequencies so that greater bandwidths may be extended across further distances from base stations. Historically, the main goal of any wireless G. Second category is energy efficiency. Leveraging whatever technological gains there may be for both transmitters and servers in order to drastically reduce cooling costs. Third category is utilization to afford the tremendous communications infrastructure overhaul that 5g may require telcos may need to create additional revenue generating services such as edge computing and mobile apps hosting placing them in direct competition with public cloud providers what are some of the specifications and highlights of 5g service 1. Peak data rates under ideal conditions of up to 10 gigabits per second. Typical user download experience of 100 megabits per second. 2. Extended network capacity to 1 million connections per square kilometer to accommodate more customers in the IoT node masses. 3. Latency less than 10 milliseconds, s, and to 1 millisecond or less under ideal conditions. 